Okay, geometry, here we go. Chapter 1, Section 2, Measuring Segments. So the first part of this section is, is pretty simple. We're not going to spend a whole lot of time on it. If I have any segment here, um, I could just take a ruler, and really all they're wanting you to do is grab a ruler or a protractor and just measure that um, either in centimeters or inches. So uh, real simple, just, just take care of that on your own. Um, and that won't be any big deal. Second thing, we may get something to the effect of uh, where they would label this. This is called segment addition, where I have an entire segment. Oh, let's say this is A, B, and then we have C at the end here. I guess I could put an endpoint on that A. And it might tell us something to the effect of, again, this is segment addition. which really just means they're going to give us uh, a couple of things. There's actually three links here. There's AB, there's BC, and then there's AC. And I'll write those over here to the side. And they'll give us two of them. A little pause there, sorry about that. And then the total is AC. So they might tell us that AB is 12 and that AC is 38. So I could come over here and I could just label this as 12 and then I could label the entire segment as 38 which in this case if I was going to find out what BC was this section right here then all I would need to do is take the entire section and subtract the smaller section which means that BC is going to be 26. So pretty sim simple uh, segment addition postulate they call. A postulate is just a statement. So we'll move on to the next one. Okay, the next one they may give you just uh, just some, some variables and a combination of, of variables and numerals. So we could get something to the effect of maybe this is 2x plus 10 and maybe this one is x plus 5. And so they might just ask you, well, how do I find out, or what's the expression that I can write the distance df? Well, since we don't know what x is in this case, really all we would do to find df is add de and ef together. So de plus ef would give us a total of df. So in this case, I'm going to have 2x plus 10 plus x plus 5, and now I just want to combine like terms. My x's are common, my numbers are common, and so in the long run that's going to give me 3x plus 15. Now they might take that one step further, and maybe they show you or tell you that uh, df is actually 45. So if df is 45, can we solve for x? Well, we know that this was df. So all we have to do, whoop, another equal sign there. All we have to do is take our 3x plus 15, set it equal to 45, and then solve a multi-step equation. So we're going to subtract 15 from both sides and get 3x equals 30. And then we finish it off by dividing both sides by 3, giving us a final answer, if they were asking it, of x equals 10. Then we could go back and we could figure out each individual length as well. So this would be 2 times 10 plus 10. And this would be 10 plus 5, giving us smaller segments of 15 and 30. Lots of different variations that you might see. Check, check, check. Oh, still on. There we go. So that is it. Really short screencast on measuring segments. So we might use a ruler or protractor. We could use the segment addition postulate, or we might uh, actually use the segment addition postulate with some variables, and that way finding each segment.